Hey everyone, so I was just recently on a Bermuda cruise with my family and we got back about a week ago and just wanted to just talk about like some cool things that are in Bermuda in case you've never gone before or are planning a trip to go to Bermuda. Uh, it is a very small island, it's only about 22 square miles and the widest point of the island is only like two and a half miles. So pretty much anywhere you're on the island, you can almost pretty much see the ocean. So it's really cool and stuff. It's also uh, near the, it's not technically in the tropics, but it's very tropical there. It's always warm pretty much all year round. Uh, when we went there, the, the locals told us that it, it's never snowed there. It's never been like down toward freezing. They said the lowest it's ever been is like maybe like 48 degrees. I think that's one of the what one of the locals said to us. So it's a very nice place to go to. Uh, they have a ton of beaches. Um, some of them are rocky. Some of them are very sandy with things to do. And they also have like caves and stuff that you can explore on the beaches as well. So it's very very, just a really lovely place to go. So if you haven't gone, I would recommend going and stuff. And we went on a cruise there. You can also obviously fly there uh, to Bermuda International Airport, and they have like five, six like great resorts on the island that you can go to. They have, I think it's eight golf courses if you like to golf. Um, and they're really, really nice golf courses. We were driving through some of the places there and we just saw a couple of the golf courses and they look stunning. So if you like golfing and you wanna go down to a tropical area and golf, then Bermuda is like the place to go. It is a bit on the pricey side, mainly because a lot of the, um, like things they need are like imported onto the island of course they do grow their some like some crops there on the island but most everything else is like imported like internationally around like from the u.s and from um i think your europe and stuff it is a british colony so they do have Brit british flags there but they also have american flags and canadian flags mainly because the tourism there is pretty much like all american and canadian um, tourists that pretty much go to the island and stuff. And tourism is between uh, pretty much, they said, April through October. So it's like a good six, seven months of pretty much tourism. So that's when pretty much they have their, like, everything out for the tourists and stuff. So the summertime would probably be, like, one of the best times to go and stuff. If you don't want to go when all of the other people are going, obviously go tour, go during the winter months and stuff. It is a bit cooler. It's only like in the 60s there, but still, if it's like sunny outside, you can still like go to the beach and stuff. It's not that bad. Um, so what I did was I was going to buy like a lot of souvenirs and stuff, but things are a bit pricey there. Obviously, I did get a couple of t-shirts. Um, and again, they're not, I mean, they're, they just say Bermuda on them pretty much. Oh, by the, by the way, the big color in Bermuda is pink. So I obviously got a pink t-shirt because their biggest color there is pink. So whenever you go there, you're going to see like pink homes and like pink flyers and people wear pink like all the time and stuff there. So pink is very big to them. Um, this is one of, it says Hamilton, Bermuda. That is where our cruise ship actually docked and we got to dock there for three days. So if you go on a cruise there just to Bermuda, it is a two day trip out there and then they dock at either Hamilton, which is the capital, or they dock at the Naval Dockyard, which is their Navy base. And they're there for uh, three days and then you obviously come back home. So those are the t-shirts I got. They are a bit on the pricey side. So instead of getting like a bazillion t-shirts, I went and go ahead and got shot glasses. I'm not 21 yet, but I'm thinking I'm, it's only four months until I'm 21 and maybe I could use one or, well, in this case, I bought seven. <laughs> so, uh, and they weren't expensive. They're only like three, four dollars. They're not that expensive. So the, I mean, some of them are just simple. They just say like Bermuda on them. This one has a picture of the islands. It's a few islands put together. Not all the islands are connected. That's a beach one. I like that one as well. It's nice. This one has a little bit more. It's a tie-dye. Bermuda tie-dye. It's cool. This one is like an old map of Bermuda. Just it looks older. It just looks like it's was made like in the 
18th century pretty much, but I still like it and stuff. And then there are some shot glasses that have sayings on them, like this one says, drink till he's cute. Um, and that's a nice green and stuff, I like that green. And the other one I got was, <laughs> caution, sober to horny in four shots. Um, might take you four shots, might not. Apparently it only takes me one shot or two to just get like, like going for me. Um, I don't do that often though, I've only done that once. Um, so those are the shot lessons I got and stuff. They have a lot more obviously, and they have a lot of shopping, pretty much like everything there is just like shopping, shopping, shopping. So if you are planning to go there and just get souvenirs, just bring like some extra cash with you. They do accept American cash. Not so much credit cards though, because I think you have to pay an international fee to do like a uh, credit card transactions. So I wouldn't bring a credit card, I'd bring cash with you. Um, just don't overdo it on the cash, don't bring like a thousand dollars or something in case it gets like lost or stolen. And people in Bermuda are like extremely nice and stuff. So they always like come up to you and say, hi, how are you? And if like you don't answer, they kind of give you that like glance like, what the hell is their problem or something? So if you've gone and you've experienced that, you obviously know what I'm talking about. If you haven't and you want to go, if you're going and stuff, just like be friendly. People there are so friendly and stuff and they love to see tourists there. So it's a big thing with them. So that's pretty much what um, I got in Bermuda, just those souvenirs and stuff. I didn't want to pay like hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Um, but again, it's a great place to go. Very warm during the summer. A lot of places to go see, a lot of beaches. Um, the water is very clear and blue. It is salty um, because it's in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean and stuff. It's also next to the Gulf Stream, so it brings it warm water. So the wa water temperatures there are like 80 to 85 degrees during the summer, which is pretty good. It's like the water temperatures... Um, in the Gulf Coast states, if you've gone down to like the Gulf of Mexico on one of the um, beaches in like Florida or like Texas or any of those states and stuff, you know what I'm talking about. It's just very warm water and stuff, but it's it's quite salty. So that's pretty much it on this video for Bermuda and stuff. Again, if you haven't gone, go. If you've gone, like I want to go again and stuff. It just it is a bit pricey to go because it's an island in the middle of nowhere. Um, it's not in the Bermuda Triangle, it's just north of the Bermuda Triangle, so if you're going to take a cruise, don't worry, you don't go into the Bermuda Triangle, you just go, like, around it, somewhat. Um, so don't worry, you're not going to get lost in the Bermuda Triangle. Obviously, I went and I'm back, so I didn't get lost. <laughs> so, uh, that is it for this video, and I will be back again in a couple days, or maybe a week, I'm not really sure yet, with another video. Oh! And if you've been wondering about the weather and stuff for this whole entire week for like the majority of the country, it looks to be pretty good. Temperatures back down toward average and not a lot of heat and a lot of places are going to get some rain um, in the drought stricken areas, especially in the Midwest and going over into the southeast and some parts of the mid-Atlantic as well. So I'll be back in a couple days with another video and until next time, remember to keep your eye to the sky.